Alright, what's up guys? Uh I got some really good Battlefield 3 gameplay for you guys. Um Rush on Operation Metro. Unfortunately this game is cut short because the um server administrator is an asshole. But uh you'll see why at the end. So I start off with uh, we're defending side and just they um they don't even get inside, uh, so that shows you how much they suck. And even if, like, you agree, you're gonna, you're gonna see they have, like, high levels. They have a level 100 colonel, or, yeah, on their team. And I'm not sure if that's just, like, from him cheating, or even if, if there was a team of, like, full of level 100 colonels. They could still suck if they don't do the right thing. You're going to see there's just so many snipers, and that's all they do. And then they have people who run in who are all right. But I, I do this game pretty good. Like, every time I switch back to Battlefield 3, it takes a while for me to um get used to uh, like the controls. and Not controls, but like the... Uh, well, how do I say it? Um... <laughs> like recoil and shooting the gun and moving around because it's different than call of duty you don't just run around drop shot everyone and stuff so this whole game i basically stay up here by these rocks and make sure no one gets in some people do get in and then there's people snipers who stand in the back by you see they um disarm the charge stand in the back so like if someone plants the charge and actually defends the objective um, I'm using the some MP not like M4A13, and uh, yeah, the, this EOD bot was annoying me, but I was like, all right, it's it's going all the way back there. I'll just leave it. So, um, there's like a lot of snipers trying to snipe and stuff, and what happened was half my my whole squad basically, and half the team. We're standing up, like, behind these rocks. And it's real easy to kill snipers with this gun. All you have to do is, like, there's, like, no recoil if you know how to take the recoil off and hold your stick down the right way. So, I'm just reviving people, getting the points, trying to keep blood people up here. And later, I throw down a health pack, and you get hurt a lot by these snipers. And you see, uh, this, this comes in handy a lot. Like, I know... Um, it seems like you get less recoil when you're holding, just instead of, like, tap firing, but when they're really far away, I'd, like, you have to do that, and I, I do that for some of the, uh, some of the kills I get. Like, this guy, like, when their head's out, and they're not moving, because they're snipers, they're not moving, it's the easiest, simplest thing to do, and kill them, and they get a lot of, you're going to see suppression kills, or not kills, but suppression zombie, but they don't get any points from that because I didn't die. And you're going to see, how, this is really retarded how I die. Some people on my team are also, like, really stupid and dumb, and they don't wind up helping me out, like, I don't know why, but that's why I normally don't play Battlefield unless I have my friends on, because when I play by myself, it's just, it sucks. And it's annoying. So every once in a while, I'll find like people behind me. But I, I think I was a major part of like winning this game. Um, well, I don't even know if we won because like once I, I was in first, and I guess the administrator just like you know screw this guy, he's beating me, he's too good for me, and just banned me. And I'm pretty sure in Battlefield, if you don't finish a match, you don't get the points for it and this was gonna be like my last game of the night and we had double XP so I'm trying to get to my next level and it's, it just really pissed me off he, he banned me I was so pissed off because of like are you freaking kidding me and it's just it's just annoying and if you saw like the beginning it said like I will like kick um low scores to make room for my friends or something but not only did he he didn't kick me I was a high score he banned me so obviously he didn't like me and that's that's the thing and like right here I ran it yeah I go over here to pick up this guy's kit because you saw me just asking my teammate for ammo and he didn't give me any ammo 
I press select on him, I say, that, give me ammo over here, and he just doesn't throw it down. I don't know why not. I mean, you get points for it. If you give people ammo, there's, that's the whole point of running the ammo kit. So then I had to, like, risk my life, run over there, and die, because I had to try to pick up his kit. So, yeah. The only thing I don't like about the new Battlefield thing is there's um, servers. I, I like the servers and stuff. It's just you automatically join random servers like when you just want to play regular rush like I think if you just click rush on a certain map like if you do quick play that should bring you to like a regular battlefield 3 EA server or whatever dice server right it should bring you to one of their servers not someone's like created messed up server because I've seen mostly every server that I join in uh Battlefield 3, they rig it so they have all like 100 kernels on like one team and then like I'm stuck with a whole bunch of level 1s and it's just so annoying. It's like pisses me off so much and then like in the servers they just they kick you and you, when I think it just be nice to like when you click it you find a right game. Just a regular game. And this is where I throw down my health pack. This is a perfect spot to throw down your health pack. Because everyone's getting sniped. You're going to see me later get so many, like, um, kills. Or not kills, but, like, um, you know what I mean? Um, like, <laughs> or health things or whatever. I think I just, yeah, I moved it, but I do. I'm not, it's, it's not the point. They get the. They, the thing I like about Battlefield is you get points for everything. To win the game, you actually need to strategy with your team. And it's just like, um, like if you kill, uh, like, y you can get rescuer, you can get points from just, like, shooting next to your enemy and distracting him and, like, blurring his screen. When you revive a squad, you get extra points. It's just, the game is, like, really fun. I want to level, like, my whole thing is leveling up. That's what I want to do. I want to level up in MW3, and I want to level up in Battlefield 3. I just don't know which one to play more. You guys can decide that. I don't care. And look at all these squad heals. I get that, like, maybe four times. And you see, everyone's getting revived, but for some reason, every time I die, I mean, I know that time I kind of went a little out too far, but still. I mean, I risk my life to go revive people, and they... No, I didn't like. I didn't like my teammates at all. Like I was, there was no point in banning me. I mean, what, what, what was the point? Like I was destroying their. He was probably on the other team because the other team was rigged with a hundred colonel, and I just kept destroying them. And it's, it's no fun. I I had a server like a while ago for like two days, and it was full server for the first day. And then the second day, I just flew around and played with my friends and stuff, and it was so much fun. If you kick people who were beating you, then what's the fun? Uh, like, the reason, like, Battlefield created servers is because, like, I don't know, like, why they, in the beginning, didn't just have a private match function. I don't know why they don't have that. And in order to get a private match, you need a server, so you need to buy a server. So, it's just, it's annoying. I think Battlefield was a lot better. I like how there's, like, servers with playlists, like, only 24-7 Rush Operation Firestorm and stuff like that. And I get the sniper a lot. Like, I'm using the, uh, one-shot thing. And I'm getting so many probably suppression, so even if I didn't kill him, someone else would have got him and I would have got the assist suppression. But, but I like Battlefield 3 so much better, like, before the servers. And I, I like, I told you guys I like them, the servers because of the, like, playlist and stuff. But why can't DICE just make, like, a 24-7 Firestorm map on Rush? 24-7, like, each map on each game mode you play it on. That'd be perfect. I mean, they obviously can, because there's all those servers out there. Just take those servers down, and then put, uh, these new ones in. It's just... It's really annoying. And then, yeah, I know this, like, 
I steal this guy's kill, but I saw him like trying to take the dog tag, and I just you can't take a dog tag from a guy on a mortar, and it was just I feel I, all right. I, I stole a skill. I felt bad on that one. I didn't I didn't mean to steal a skill, so I apologize for stealing a skill. Another guy standing still, sticking his head out, and I don't even know if like any of this counted towards my stuff because I don't know if you guys know it. But double XP gets you so much stuff. Like, you'll see your, like, little level bar go up a little bit. And then it'll, like, rise, like, skyrocket because of double XP. Like, it says times two or whatever. And, like, I don't know how or why. But I'm not going to question it because I'm fine with it. So. Yeah. And then up. It's coming up, I think. I don't even know my score because I checked my. He he kicked me just randomly. I don't know who he. I don't even know who's who is the host of the server. And I was I was just trying to. Uh, it's just annoying, and I was doing so good. Then throw the health back down, kill the guy up there, or no, not yet, I run over there and kill him. Revive the guy, take out my actual gun. Oh, and then I hate when I'm about to, like, shoot a, uh, um, like, spawner, and then an enemy spawns on it. So I get the combat efficiency ribbon. Then I'm like, yeah, let me kill this guy real quick. Kill assist. And I just kill this guy. And I could do that. Then I could revive this guy. And I, I, the things, I'm gonna get you guys different gameplays of each, like, part of Battlefield. Like, I'm gonna get you helicopter gameplay with me and, like, my friends in the helicopter because we got really good with helicopters. I'm gonna get you guys, uh, jet gameplay. But, like, right now, I'm in the mood for gun gameplay. I want to get good with the guns. I want to, like, unlock. I'm almost, I almost have another, like, medal for uh, efficiency star or service star for uh, medic or assault. So, right now, that's where I defuse. And then, do I get kicked right after I defuse? That wouldn't happen. I don't even know. I know. I disarmed the MCOM. And I was surprised because I was like, you know what? Let me disarm the MCOM. I didn't touch the MCOM yet. And then I was like, oh, no, I lagged out. Damn it. I'm tired of my stupid, crappy internet connection. And I was like, or he was an asshole and kicked me. But I thought I lagged out most likely because that's what normally happens with me whenever this happens. And then you've been banned from this server. And then I was like, no. So, that was a little gameplay I shared with you guys.